from uh, looking at the pest standpoint alone, I think authorities worldwide estimate that something like 25 to 33 percent of the food that's produced is actually wasted or, or not properly consumed because of pests alone. I don't think we can afford uh, uh, this sort of inefficiencies in the years ahead. Uh, we have to move forward. We have to uh, improve our technology. We have to be more efficient. Unless we uh, continue to improve our technology, our efficiency, uh, we won't be able to feed the people uh, 10 years from now, 20 years from now. Males only. And uh, the, there's just so much work to be done, and there's two things that are wrong. Uh, there's a hell of a lot of entomologists that lack imagination to try it, and there's even more politicians that can't see it and won't fund it, and the, uh, the public is not interested unless somebody stirred them up to tell them about it. Uh, but we're just at the very beginning of this thing. Ninety percent of our insect problems are serious because we have upset the balance already. I mean, we're, we're furnishing uh, uh, millions of acres of corn and cotton and soybeans, uh, and furnishing these insects with unlimited food supply. Uh, this is not a natural balance of nature, so it gives these insects a tremendous advantage. So. And the other, uh, equally, if not more important, that you know most of the serious insect pest problems we have in, in the United States are not native pests. They were brought in. I, I maintain that if, if we keep these, if we find ways of keeping these pest populations below the levels of economic significance, or in some cases eliminate them, uh, we're restoring the balance rather than upsetting it. Well, I don't, uh, I don't believe you could get a higher award. I think that's the ultimate in recognition of the importance of agriculture. I'm, I'm honored beyond expression that I can be a part in this great and vicious effort to do some more for humanity than I think anybody else uh, has dreamed about.